Hi, this is Dan from RealMac Software, and today we're going to take a look at the latest big features in this release of Squash 3. Uh, so I'm going to drag on these portfolio photos here. This is just a sample library. Um, so you can see it's loaded those all in, uh, and I'm going to head straight into the new watermarking feature. So you can see uh, here I've already got loaded in a graphical watermark. So if I double click into an image, uh, you can see it's placed it down there. Uh, so that's the, we've got the before image here and the after image here. Um, and if you've not seen Squash, this is showing us what it was, uh, the size of it before and the size after. Um, so you can see I can uh, go ahead and easily add and as many layers as I want in here and it will just add, uh, add these in for me as layers and I can change the position of them. I can change the style. We've got lots of options in there and I can just drag in graphics there. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the presets area as I've got some that I've already set up. So we've got a real Mac watermark set up there. Uh, let's just preview the after here. So I've just, I've just hit this to get rid of the uh, split view there. Um, and you can see it's added the real Mac watermark. Um, and I've got one here called processed with squash. Now this one uh, has got multiple layers on it. We've got a little icon and a process with squash text. Now the problem with this process with squash text, it looks fine um, on some of the images, but on some of them, uh, like this one maybe, uh, it gets kind of lost. Uh, so we can add a background to that. And this is one of the other new features um, in this version of squash. So if we open this little tab up here, this gives us a background style. Um, and we've got some predefined colors here. So if I hit this one, you can see it automatically puts a little, uh, uh, a little overlay behind the text. Um, and we can change this color. So if we wanted it maybe a bit stronger, I can up that. Um, and you can see if I just select one of these, it just updates. So that's, uh, let's go back to black and we'll just drop this. So, and with this, when, when you've got it looking the way you want it, so these are great to have these saved off. So I've just updated this preset uh, and we want to keep these changes that I've made. So what we can do, I can right click on the preset and just say update preset settings. Yup. And now um, when I click around in here, you'll see it saved those changes for me. So those are the new uh, watermarking effects. Um, there's lots of details you can tweak in there um, and they're really great just to have them saved off, you know, because this real Mac watermark here, any images I want to watermark with our logo, I can just use that uh, and it's done. And one of the other nice things is I don't have to do the whole batch of images. I can just right click and say, you know, I just want this one with the real Mac watermark. Uh, and then it's going to prompt me where to save it. Uh, and I'll say real Mac and that's just going to save it on the desktop there with our logo on it. Um, some of these other presets have actually got uh, export locations saved on them. So in here, you can see these ones haven't, and this one, it says to export. And this means it's got a predefined folder that it will save it into. So you can see the export folder on my desktop there. So if I say export, um, let's do the process with squash to export, and that'll take this image uh, and it'll export it straight to there. And you can see it's placed that in the folder. Um, and this is the same, you know, if, uh, if, you, if you want to, you know, we can highlight this and then I can just tell it to do the whole, the whole lot. I'll pray export image. Um, and there we go. You can see it's already finished 21 items. That was really quick to process all those images with, uh, with the watermark on. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, one other quick feature we've added is the retain dates feature. Now this you can um, you can get Squash to overwrite or keep the date created and modified in the Finder, and that date is uh, or these dates are the ones here. Uh, you can see created and modified, and that's because we've just done that now. Um, but you can tell it to retain the dates of the uh, of the original. Um, file so when the original file was created and modified you can keep those so even though we've modified the file you can keep those uh, to the original dates 
which is uh, which is pretty cool and pretty handy. Sometimes you know you want to keep the original date created of the original image, um, so those handy features are in there. Um, all right, so those are uh, just a couple of the new things we've added to Squash. I thought I'd give you a quick run through and hopefully you found that useful. And I'll be back soon with another update. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.